Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mark Rendurze, and um, we're going to learn you a little bit today about our view on industrial inkjet printing. So we have uh, actually three of the four people here. We have Renilde, we have Jan, my colleague Tom. I don't know if he will come, but we are uh, together here today to help you to uh, to get a little bit feeling of our view on industrial inkjet printing. So. What I'm going to be discuss today is, first of all, what do we consider industrial printing? What are the key elements in the solution? Uh, and what is our mission? Actually, our mission is to be your partner to integrate print in manufacturing. So at the end, you have a product. Part of that product is a print step. And the way the printing is done in the full chain is actually our view and how we can help you with different kind of products in that. And then hopefully we have some time to listen to your thoughts and try to answer your questions. Okay, I don't think I need to introduce Agfa too much. We are a big imaging group and Agfa Graphics is roughly half of that group doing um, imaging in the graphics world in different segments. Uh, the yellow ones are the ones where we're very active with Injet. On the one hand, we have the sign and display where we have full solutions for white format with uh, printers, inks, software, complete solution, Agfa made, Agfa tailored. Next to that, on industrial printing, we are actually moving partly the sign and display, as we will show later, moving that to industrial applications, but we also have a lot of inks tuned to industrial printing. So, UV printing is really our choice today as a major technology step where we went into in all parts of UV printing. So we have a lot of installed base, we have a lot of ink sets, we know how to use the ink, we know the software, the workflow. It's really UV, which is the major ink technology that we use today. Well, what is industrial printing? So, as I said before, it's a manufacturing process wherein one of the steps is printing. And it's not an advertisement. The print has become part of your product. We will show several examples later. An industrial inkjet. Inkjet is one of the major technologies because it's digital, because it reacts fast. You, you go from the print file, so it's logical to go for inkjet. Okay. Um, so this slide from, from the imprint show, uh, which is actually later this year again in Munich in uh, November, where we'll, we'll, we have a booth. Uh, this, in this house and all the applications that you see, somewhere in that, in that product, there is some printing step. Uh, and that are all kind of print steps we look into where you can use Agfa products. It's important to have a system approach. It's not only the ink, it's not only the printer, it's not only the media interaction with the ink, it's everything. So basically what you try to find is a solution that everything works together in the best possible way. If it's not possible to have an ink only, a good solution might be to have a top varnish on top or to have a primer on a coating before you have a colored ink on top. So there are many solutions and the best way is to analyze the process, how the product is made, and where does your printing step fit into, and how you make your inkjet printing work. That's all about. And a specific case is when it's related to food safety. So I will show later some examples where we print direct on a food or a beverage primary packaging. Okay, important slide is when can I do inkjet for industrial? Can I do it all the time? Not really. The typical crossover point discussion, traditional printing is made for long runs. So you have quite a long startup time. You may have to make a master, etc. And then when you go to real big volume batches, run, run lengths, it's really cost, low cost. Inkjet is a little bit the opposite, but is of course shifting all the time. Inkjet today is for shorter and medium run lengths, but Continuously, we drop the price of inject solutions by every factor. 
it's becoming higher output, it's becoming <coughs> cheaper in cost per piece. And of course, don't forget the new demand. In many cases, it's possible to do something which was impossible by traditional technology. Just because the cost of making that one master or that one screen for just a few prints is too expensive. Now, if you want to print, let's say, your bathroom door or something, a panel with your unique design or your unique picture, it's possible with Inkjet. So it's possible to create a new demand and to fulfill it with the Inkjet printing technology. And of course, in general, people need to have more variations of the same product. The seasoning, versioning, something special, promotions. You can all print that with Inkjet in one run instead of adding a second step. So all these trends are in favor of implementing Inkjet printing in your industrial process. Now, basically, you have two major technologies of how to apply with Inkjet your, your drops on your substrate. You can either do it multipass, you, you, your printheads move over the substrate and you build up in multipasses your image. This is, of course, investment-wise very interesting because with a limited amount of printheads, you can still go over a white sheet and do um, a print width, which is white, with a low amount of printheads, so relatively cheap from that side. Of course, your output is limited because you have to travel with the printheads. You can, by the multipass, create a very high image quality. To put that in an inline connection to your production steps is, of course, more difficult. If all of the rest is moving and suddenly you have to scan, it's not always a fix. Single pass is, of course, by a natural fit to your process, which moves on a belt or something. Of course, then you have the cost of printheads. If you're going over one meter, your cost of your printheads starting to get, of course, very important. There are people working on systems over two meters, for instance, for deco laminate, huh? the floors and the furniture panels. So it's not impossible, but there is a difference in cost. Of course, the speed can be very high. You can go up to 100 meter a minute in single pass. So if you that do full width, your output is very large. Coming now closer to what we do, what we offer. So we want to be your partner to integrate printing in manufacture. For that, we have printing technology, huh? multipass, huh? which Renilde in a few moments will show you what you can do with it. We have, of course, a lot of inks, and we develop inks. We customize ink to specific applications, to specific print systems. We have image software, color management, and workflow solutions. So we are not just one party. We can help you in different aspects. From the software side, we developed Apogee, uh, actually for prepress, for plates, etc. Asanti is really tuned to Inkjet. Uh, it's really created to, to take your file and to get the best possible result out of that. Not only for sign and display, it's the same when you print on a product. OK, now I'll give the floor to Renilde. Thank you, Mark. A few slides that are actually also a bit um, a pitch on the product. So when we are looking at the UV market, then we divide the market into three parts. You have the very high end of the market, the high end of the market, and the low end of the market. And the split is made along how fast do these machines go. And the speed also comes together with a certain price, of course. And in each of these markets, you have different technologies. You have the hybrid technology, flexible, rigid, or you have roll-to-roll, -roll, hybrid, and flatbed. So here at the show, we are introducing two new products. One is called the Jetai Taro, and the other one is called the Mira. And now what I will do now is, for each of those two, I will give some more details. This machine is called the Jetai. The Jetai is a hybrid machine, does rigid as well as flexible. You can see it's a 2.5 meter uh, machine, comes with white and primer and with six colors. And one of the things that is extremely interesting, 
for both sign and display applications as well as industrial applications is the extremely vivid printing that comes with it. Because you all know that colors and how the more vivid the colors are, that's definitely also in industrial printing, attracts customers, attracts um, um, interest. 275 square meters per hour, which is indeed placed right in the high end of the market. Also important in this market is automation, productivity, because that's exactly where we position it, productivity and print quality. The next machine is a machine that is positioned into versatility. Because industrial printing, it's about productivity, also about what can you print? What are the different uh, kinds of media that you can print? Also 3D objects, for, uh, for example. So this machine is a moving gantry machine, flatbed, moving gantry, that is positioned as a very flexible and versatile machine. Can do um, rigids as well as roll-to-roll -roll or 3D objects. Speed about 206 uh, square meters per hour. And then the last slide, which is the most interesting slide from the point of view applications, customers, that is what can you do with these machines? But first of all, it is positioned in the sign and display market, typical banners, posting, uh, posters, uh, point of sales, etc. But also the more niche applications, wood, art, interior decoration, architectural elements, and so on. So you see those two machines, come and see them at our boot, because they really cover a lot of different applications. Thank you, Renilda. Thank you, Renilda. Okay, let's move on. So Renilda showed you what you can do with a multi-pass machine, how it's possible to use that for industrial printing. So those Print systems contain AGFA-made UV curable inks. But we do much more with our ink technology than just providing AGFA machines with AGFA ink. We have a whole range of portfolio of inks that we make for, as we call, for OEMs, that build their own systems, single pass, multi pass, where we tune the ink to meet the criteria that that application and the printer need. So for all major piezo industrial print heads, we can develop the ink for multi-pass, single pass, for bulb curing or for LED or for pinning plus bulb or pinning plus and LED, we can tune the inks. We even have low order inks and low migration inks, which I will explain in detail later. And for partners, we develop customized inks on demand. Can be spot colors, can be specific inks, it's all possible. So we like to be the process partner inside the team of the project to be involved together with the printhead supplier, the system integrator, and of course the end user. And it's very important when it's a food packaging. So we are very active in the R&D from the start. We have combinatorial lab with our equipped robots. We work overnight. We can make several hundred different inks during the night. And they are fully evaluated when we arrive in the desk in the morning. So we start from screening up to full manufacture on very big scale and everything in between. We can study the interaction with the printhead, with substrates, etc. Everything which is needed to be sure that the ink is well designed. So that is actually a picture of our uh, robot lab where you have the dispensers and they take from uh, containers and you make many, many different kinds of inks during one night. What is also special about AGFA is that we do not buy pigment dispersants. We make them ourselves. It's the strength of AGFA. We do it in more than 100 years. So it's very logical for us to go in ink because pigment dispersion is the heart of the ink. And we are a master in pigment dispersion. We have over, one, we have over 50 patent families only on pigment dispersion technology. So raw materials, some we make ourselves because we cannot buy them. They are unique. So the ink formulation, the production, very strict quality control because we have the batch, best batch-to-batch -batch consistency in, uh, in UV inks. Therefore, our inks are very well known 
to have always the same result from day to day, from batch to batch. When we go a little bit deeper in product decoration, we divide a little bit in two sections. On the left side, you have the little have the application which is a little bit easier, a little bit less complex. They can be a flat surface, they can be limited in color and size, uh, the output demand can be, can be slow, so slow printing can be possible. So relatively easy, but the more you go up that stream, the more difficult it gets, especially because here you're talking about a primary food packaging. And then there are a lot of legislation and you print on objects. So you have to be able to move the object and to print on that object and it's in a single pass because you need output. So how can you handle that and how can you tune the ink to that? So when we talk about low migration inks, there are two major application ranges where you need them. First of all, your food packaging. You print on the outside of your yogurt cup or your margarine cup your drink cup, you print on the outside. When it's this format, so it's direct to shape printing. So the object is moved, you print with your low migration, it's cured with LED, and it's migration, it's food safe. Even when you stack the cups directly after printing. That is the application of direct print. Of course you can print on label, on pouches. The second range is the pharmaceutical packaging where you can print directly on your IV bag, your blister foil, your syringe. Again, a lot of legislation, a lot of need of an ink, which is GMP produced and which is safe to the application. So what can go wrong in the food packaging? Basically, the two major things which can go wrong is migration through the substrate. Some ink compound, after curing of the ink, is still diffusing and getting into your food. Or you print and you roll up or you make contact by stacking or roll up a label, you make contact with the inner side, which is later the food contact side. If you have transfer of some compounds, and it's typically invisible, it's not your pigment which is transferring, it's are compounds, organic compounds from your ink, that is in, can endanger people's health. So it's very important to have a low migration ink for that. And what is special about the Agfa ink is, is this, I try to give this in a very easy representation. You have in, a, in UV ink, you have monomers, huh? which when you polymerize them to a polymer, of becoming a polymer, and in order to get them polymerized, you need photo initiators. They react with UV light to link the monomers together. So first of all, in your liquid state, you have your monomers, you add your photo initiators, you print, you jet them, you bring them on your substrate, then you put UV light on it, and what happens during that step is that you chain together all those compounds of that liquid ink once it's dried. And what is unique about the Agfa ink is that all your photo initiators are also linked into your network, because that is typically what is going to migrate or set off. <coughs> Sorry. And you will reach a degree of polymerization of 99.9999% instead of a very typical range of 95% in sign and display. But it's not important to have 100%. But for food packaging, it's extremely important. The only way to, to be below 10 ppb, parts per billion, which is typical rule per compound, is this. Which are examples that are actively happening today? First of all, bottling. So a PET bottle, printed direct, no label. So you have no label cost. You don't have to wait for the label to be printed at the bottler company. You just print, just before, when you make the bottle, you print, you fill, and you pack, and ready. All at the same location. So no transport, no waste. First print is okay. 36,000 bottles an hour. So really production speed. The ink, you feel it a bit. It's on there, adhesion is good. Migration is approved by certified labs and recycling is okay in the existing process. So it comes off in the flotation step of the recycling, of the existing recycling step. Very important. The next one, the food cups, the margarine cups, etc. Again, 
printing direct to shape, low migrationing, you can stack them. It's polypropylene, which is not a good barrier. So very important to have a very good low migration ink. The last one, closure caps of bottles. I bought a little bit bigger one so that you can see. Basically today, mostly not printed or just a, a brand logo name, that's it. Today you can print everything on it. Again, 600 a minute. So very fast, every image can be different. So you can variableize your product by having something special on the cap. All possibilities happen today. Much more happening, not always allowed to tell you. But we are doing blister foil packaging, we're doing labels, we're going in the pharmaceutical packaging. So this is just the beginning. And to show you that people have picked up that this is an important invention, last year in Belgium we received the, the Essentia Innovation Award for this invention. It's only every two years that this important prize is given for a chemical innovation in Belgium. I was very proud to, uh, to receive the award from the Royal Princess. But it shows the importance. Um, sorry. Next I'm going to show you a movie. It's only two minutes. It's a little bit of philosophy of how Injet and Agfa, how can, can it change your production workflow? How is it possible to have different versions printed of your product? In ancient times, craftsmen produced excellent qualitative products. But all of those similar products really looked, hmm, well, quite similar. And you needed time, loads of time, to get it right. In modern times, excellent qualitative products are still being produced. And each of these products looks quite unique. In modern times, almost every product can be labeled, branded, and printed on. It looks easy, doesn't it? But is it really? Hello, can I order 200 labels, please? Uh, minimum orders start us from 5,000 items, madam. Can you deliver my labels by next week? Delivery time is three weeks, sir. Where is the efficiency? You depend on others. You need to have a giant stock. And you're stuck with a lot of waste. Indeed, what a waste of time, resources and money. Agfa now provides the right solution for you. An integrated solution. An integrated solution in your manufacturing process. This integrated solution saves you time and money. You no longer depend on others because everything can be printed in-house in the volumes, colors and variations you want when you want it. In Agfa times, everything, really everything can be printed on. And it doesn't only look easy, it is. That's because Agfa inks are optimally fine-tuned for inkjet printing. Agfa also has the right color management, automation and print workflow software to make your print work stand out. Agfa provides the ultimate integrated inkjet solution. It's greener, faster, cheaper, and leaves you in total control. Agfa integrates print in your manufacturing process. So I hope this movie shows you a bit how we see it, what is happening. See this as a generic product, it can be your product, but it's to make you think how your workflow can change by Injet. Um, we have a booth here in Hall 6. I hope to see you there. We have also time now for your questions. The next speak is only at 2 o'clock. So please, if you have questions, approach us. We are here to talk to you and to listen to you and to understand your needs and to see where is the fit with our view on things. Thank you very much.